In the spring of 2022, we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter that was neglected for a decade. We sailed her up north to her new home port on the central coast of California, did a major haul out, and prepped her for blue water cruising. This life is completely new to us, but the dream is far from it. And finally, we see it within reach. For the first time ever, we've moved on to Mundial and are continuing to ready her before we set sail. Thanks for joining us as we acquire our sea legs and say goodbye to land life. Good morning. Today I'm gonna work on putting up the inner force day with my synthetic, synthetic setup. So I'm gonna harness up and bring a bag of tools up this pretty good canvas bucket from Harbor Freight. Bring my tools up, bring a tagline to drop the old 19-inch uh, wire. Bring up the new stay on there too. We'll go up just above the radar and uh, hook that up. I already disconnected the inner four stay, which was with the turnbuckle up forward where you can see that shackle is. So I'm just gonna get that set up and then I will work on getting the lower tensioning system set up. What's nice about the Interforce Day is it doesn't really do much for the mast at all because right now we're rigged basically just like a sloop, which, you know, look at the majority of these boats in the bay are sloops, so mast stays up just okay. fine. So we're up here and I brought up my bucket Clipped it off. It's got my stay attached, my tagline. I'm going to be disconnecting the pin here, lowering down the old stay, connecting the top of the new four stay, synthetic four stay here, and uh, then we'll get out of here got the stay on check things out up here everything's in a working order so now we're gonna rappel out and uh, we'll go work on the connection point where are we down there okay well as you can see I took off the forward lowers on both sides I had to take the pin rails off boat looks kind of bare without them it's kind of interesting um, so now I'm going to ascend again, disconnect the forward lowers up halfway up the mast. It's about, I don't know, I guess it's probably about 18 feet or so. Yeah, about 18 feet off of the cabin top here. Disconnect the forward lowers and reconnect the two synthetic shrouds that I made up. And then we'll see how far we can get today on the aft lowers. We'll see if I can take some footage when I'm up there, but it's a rinse and repeat type process. So, got the uh, Dyneema stays. There's all kinds of fun stuff that we can do with, like making this wiring nice and pretty and sealing that hole up. You know, she's an old boat. She's got her issues. Someday I'll replace these with LEDs because they're incandescent right now for our deck lights and they suck the juice I don't even have time to try to get I think there's like a, to get them open I think there's some kind of split ring looks like in there that's my guess the other option is just to drill the rivets and replace but no time for that these work even if they draw a lot of power we've got lots of power so it doesn't really matter all right going to uh, make sure we're all tidied up here and clean up and descend and then assess the bottom of this day now it's connected to the boat.
on Laurel High Five for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow the golden. It's far easier just to ascend like this than to try to use pulleys. Well, I'm ascending one to one. I'm, I'm just climbing this rope. I'm not like trying to yeah. hoist myself up with. Grant's working on wiring our light that goes at the top of the mast and why this is kind of a bigger project than we anticipated is because the there was a PVC pipe in the mast. There still is, but it's not attached. ABS? Black. It's black, so ABS pipe is in the mast, unattached to anything, and if it's our forever boat, we would pull the mast and probably do a better solution, but this is our workaround for now because we want to get sailing. The only way to get rid of the floating loose ABS in the mast is to pull the mast. It is used to, It used to be riveted, but it came loose. But since we want to get cruising this season, we will make do and try to pull the wire despite the ABS that might be in the way. I suggested cutting little bits out at a time, but Grant said that could work, but we would risk cutting the wires. Ultimately, we decided to leave it in there because as long as the wires got to their destination, it wasn't hurting anything. We came up with the game plan to get the wire to the top of the mast, and then Grant got to climbing. Okay, we just pulled this out is old white cord or white wire and now we need to rewire the light that's going to go at the top but it was caught on something so lucky we got it out and now I have to tie this line to the new wire that's Grant's at the top of the mast and he's going to pull up. Ready to pull this new white wire up the mast so that we can finally get our light up there. Okay, pull! We're up here on the mast. Took me quite a while, but uh, I think I got our anchor light and our steaming light situation dealt with. Uh, what had happened is we had lost one of the power that uh, went to the steaming light. Just came disconnected and it uh, dropped out of the mast. So I had to use one of the other wires to pull a new wire. I probably could have got away with just using the, the ground and then just using the mast itself as ground and using the ground that was in the mast as a uh, power. But uh, this way I pulled up some three strand wire so all three of them are now together as a unit and I'll be able to get that all dialed in. I also made it so that the none of the connections are carried carrying any load so I tied some line to uh, the lower section just like six inches down from the connections and that's carrying the pressure it comes up and out of the tube and I'll show you um, and carries the load and then the connections are just in the, the little pipe sitting without any load on them at least that's the theory uh, and yeah couldn't film and do all this together but uh, here we are it's a beautiful day check it out tomorrow rock what's kind of cool is you can see the junior yacht club sailors they're playing tag right now there's a one of them's got a volleyball and what's over there and they throw it at each other play tag drop it in their boat Along with the many other projects on our list, Grant made some time to extend our galley and add more countertop for me. Transitioning from a house to a sailboat has been hard, but not as hard as I expected. 
The hard parts are having to get things out that are stowed away every time I need them. And the countertop space when I'm cooking is a little minimal. This new addition to our galley helps so much. Another day of dividing and conquering. Grant's been working on wiring the light at the top of the mast and I think we got that done. And now I just got back from a surf and I'm going to run some wire. So we have an antenna that can maybe work and it's that end right there. And I wanna tidy kind of this area up and run it and connect to right there. water around our through hole. Where? Out. Finding water near through holes is never a fun thing, but good thing it was a false alarm. Where is it? Is it? I'm still learning so much about the different systems of the boat, all while not having any real permanent place for our things to go yet. We've been dedicating our time these days to dialing in the systems and making sure wires are where they should be and removing ones that have been abandoned. With dividing and conquering on some tasks, it's nice to know that we could still holler at each other when we need a second set of hands or some out. advice. Yeah, I know. Be careful, don't ever touch those two things at the same time. What? I mean, there's a little plastic cover on What? I got this one. Normal. Absolutely normal. I think I would have went in there a little differently. But you know. Okay, well that took an extra long time. I ended up organizing the wires and I bought some conduit like cover online. Um, and so it's not such a rat's nest down there, but of course I had to like f use a metal file and kind of file off the solder off the male part with the existing wire. Um, so it would connect to the new wire that I set up. Grant's upstairs and I can hear him sanding. I think he's sanding her boom. Let's take a look. Grant decided to shorten the stay sail boom because he raised the tack point on the fore stay, so we had more room for the dinghy underneath. Plus the sail, we have had a 24 inch pennant to allow for the sail to sit high enough at the clue. So moving the tack of the boom up did change where we already were hoisting the sail to. He had to cut it because raising it made it hit the mast. Boom, 15 inches shorter. So now I can work on trying to get these bolts out. And we're going to 
shorten that up like that. Which will allow for the staysail to not hit the mast because I moved the staysail I moved the staysail attachment point on the stay up by about 14 inches. You can see the lashings is basically what's adding the, the, the lift. And by doing that, it's gonna allow us to stow our dinghy on the foredeck and the boom will clear it now when it's upside down versus previously, the it would just barely clear out of the dinghy. It would just kind of hit it and ride up over it. So the boom would. So shortening it up and we still got plenty of length for the foot of our staysail. And uh, yeah, would have loved to try to keep the staysail as low as possible, but it is what it is. I took to cleaning our canvas and applying 303 fabric guard to make it water resistant while Grant sanded the peeling paint off the boom and removed the screws from the boom end cap. Grant is sanding in order to get the end bolt what? of the end cap from our boom that he got off. off. Lots more boat work on the list. Oh, we got our work cut out for us. Inside, every work you do. Alright, I'll try to take some video when I'm up there, but uh, I seem to forget because in the moment I'm too busy working, not too busy filming. But I'll try harder. Love you. you. Thanks for joining us, and see you next week for more boat work.